Rusky's Crypto Cave this is my 3070 Ti rig in the basement here. And I used to have one of these Wemo devices hooked up to monitor the, the power usage. And when I was trying to do my monthly report, I was having issues exporting the data. The app would let me do it. Was not receiving the emails, tried it over and over and over again, changed the, the duration as far as weekly, daily, monthly. That didn't work. So I think something just broke because these things aren't even available anymore. So um, I looked for a different option and I found these. It's an Emporia device. Um, the same company that makes the energy monitor that I have on my electric panel. I have a, I don't know, it's like 16 different breakers it can monitor, but I'm only monitoring the four that for, are for the shed. And then, but it's the same company that makes those, makes these, and you can use the same app and export all the data. So I'll hop on the app and uh, see what it looks like. And we got another one of these uh, Emporia devices right here on my 1660 Ti rig in the garage. Another one set up here on my desktop. Alrighty, we're back here on the laptop. This is going to be take two because this dumbass forgot to hit record. I thought I hit record, but apparently I wasn't. But anyway, so we're going to try this again. So as you see in the little clips, I found new devices to track the power usage because if you saw my video for the, the September wrap up, the, the profitability report, I was un unable to get the reports exported from those Wemo devices, which, it, I mean, they worked fine for previous four or five years, however long I've had those things, probably 2018, 19 is when I got them, and they've been working great since, but for whatever reason, the devices still work the way they are, but it's just the exporting feature, feature is not working. Not sure what's going on. I know you cannot buy them new anymore, so maybe just servers got shut off or whatever. Uh, who knows? But... I did find another solution. Let me see if I can pop over to full screen here and still keep going. But it, it are these guys, Emporia Smart Outlets. Um, I got a four pack of them. They are all set up. I have uh, basically have them set up because the Emporia also makes the device that monitors uh, the, all the energy uses on my sub panel for the shed. And so it's the same brand, same app, everything. So let me, I'm going to start recording in the phone here quick and then we'll get rolling so here we are now it's recording in the phone that is the first one is the mining room which was mining room i never i just got changed the name to shed same difference it doesn't matter but that's basically the power draw in there this is the 3070 ti rig that's in the basement this one's been on for a couple days there is like about this is the fourth day that it's been on and it shows you how much power and kilowatts it used per day or how much it's drawing right now and then we'll hop over to 1660 Ti rig. Currently that rig's pulling about 900 watts. And that's what's with the monitor, um, all the fans, eight 1660 Ti's, power limited to about 90 watts, mining zealous right now. And something else is on that breaker too. Um, so it's probably not all coming from the rig, just because it's, this is about 250, 300 watts higher than what um, Hive OS shows. So there's, some, there's something else on there at this point, but I forget exactly what it is, but it's all mining related. I think there's a switch on there. Actually, I think the helium miner's on there. Um, a few other small, little small things. So, but anyway, uh, desktop rig. This is the 3070 or the 4070 Ti Super that I'm recording this video on. And it's also, we need to keep, keep track of this one to see some different spikes like here. And here you see a spike. Um, because this is also on salad so when salad puts more demand on the gpu it'll kind of be interesting to see how much power it's usually really really using in a day and this to see how much each day how much power is costing me and then what i'm actually making off of salad so on and so forth so um, it works up in the cpu rig one that one's still in the outlet back here i did not plug that take it downstairs because i do have to separate it because uh, i am going to separate and isolate the uh um, the salad rig on its own Emporia device, which I do need to order more. And then all the all the CPU rigs will be on the same one, just to monitor all the power from all the CPU rigs. Uh, but I'll show you the device over here on Amazon. Here we are here. So it's the Emporia Smart Plug with energy monitoring. Um, one of the limitations of this device, though, um, you can only pull 10 amps continuous. So that's about 1,200 watts. 
Um, as far as the 1660 Ti rig at about 900 to 1000, that's a probably about max where I'm going to keep that. I'm not going to pull much more than that through any of those. Um, and I, same thing with the CPU rigs down the basement. They're probably going to be 350 ish or so. Maybe get up to 400 total for all three of them. Because um, now my fourth CPU rig is now a salad rig. Um, so I'm down to three CPU rigs, 3900X and two 5900Xs. And then the uh, 3700X rig was converted into a salad rig. So I did pick up that MSI 4070Ti off of Amazon when they had the sales last week or two weeks ago, whatever it was. Um, so I am going to get a separate device. I'm going to get four more, one more device. One of the devices will be for the salad rig in the basement. One will be for the CPU rigs. Actually, that one's going to be for the CPU rigs. Another one's going to be for the uh, the solo miner, Bitcoin miners I have sitting over there. I might put them in a different location. And then if I do turn my 2070s back on, I'll need I'll use another one for them. And uh, we'll see what else. That'll leave me like another one or two hit to go. So, but um, these things do work good. As you see, I haven't had the screen recording. I got to stop the screen recording. Let me stop that. And it chopped that video up, but the uh, as you can see here, four packs you get 875 each, or what 1050 for two of, each for two of them, or 1199 if you just want to order one. So it's cheaper to get all get four of them if you could use them. Um, you could, I'll leave a link down below, it'll help the channel out. Thank if you do, thank you very much. And if not, just make sure you, you search for Emporia Smart Plug with Energy Monitoring. That's the device you want, that's the device that will track everything. And then you can email yourself a CSV file. But it emails you a, a link to a zip file. You download the zip file. It has four or five CSV files in it. And just open up the daily one. And that will show you how much power you use per day. And then you just, in my situation, I just add it up for the first of the month to the 30 or 31st of the month, whatever it is. And then that's how much that particular breaker's outlet has been used for the month and then multiply that into my spreadsheet and so on and so forth and we'll see the month of october is going to get kind of goofy just because i may have to like figure out an average daily and just multiply that by 31 just because the uh the Zwema devices haven't been working for the first half of the month or first two-thirds of the month so i'll have to figure something out with that but as of right now um we're gonna keep on keeping on we're just gonna keep on using those for, get them set up as as we go and uh yeah we'll go from there and see how it works just because as of right now the uh like i said the wemos aren't working so i'll either use an average of last month or this month i don't know i'll figure that out so as far as energy uses for the month of october is gonna be a little goofy so but going forward it should be spot on and uh, nice thing with this that device it everything uses uses the same app which is very nice so i have the uh like i said the, the 100 amp sub panel monitor at the breaker it's got like 16 different plugs that you can monitor or breakers you can monitor i'm only using four of them uh, just to monitor all the outlets that go to the shed and then everything else is unused as of right now which i could technically i could probably hook them up and monitor different things for the house too but I'm not worried about that stuff. I'm more worried about what my mining equipment is using because that stuff is all pretty much write-offs. So that's what I, the more electricity I can track and track accurately, uh, the more I could use for a write-off. This could, I don't want to be like winging the whole year as far as that goes. You have to kind of estimate a month or so, okay, not a big deal, uh, but not a whole year, so. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much it. Same farm's been pretty much running the same stuff. The only thing I did change is I do have the KS zeros solo mining bug there right now. Um, they weren't in any Casper blocks, and as I figured out, what the hell, I might as well just build a little small moon bag of these K Happy Hash coins and um, put it on bug net first. I think I got forty-eight thousand of it on a day and a half or so, somewhere around there. So it's it smashing up good. Good bit of blocks doing pretty well uh just because the hash rate substantially lower and then uh, once i'm ha happy with the bag that i built the bug nut then i'll put it on cedra build another little bag of cedra and see what happens a little lottery tickets i guess so other than that that's about it and uh we'll keep on keeping on 
keep on mining. Aleo is still profitable for me. Um, Farm-wise, about 10 bucks a day over the cost of electric. So we see 25 to $27 per day is what I'm bringing in as far as revenue-wise on Aleo. And I still have, still holding 80 some of it. Um, the last couple of days I was able to sell and basically wash out, break even the, in the USDC. Some of it's been switched to Solana as well because I'm still constantly building my bag of Solana. And yeah, we're just going to keep on doing that. I'm going to hold some of the Aleo, not all of it, like I mentioned multiple times before. And then we'll, we'll see what happens with it. So get a nice little pump and then I might sell some of it. Who knows? But I'll figure that out, that, that out as the time comes. But for the time being, I'm just going to mine some, sell most, hold some, rinse and repeat. So anyway, until the next video, we'll catch you later.